and welcome here to more Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel guys and today it is a big one because today we are starting to look ahead to that brand new season because the La Liga schedule has been announced and indeed Barcelona know their opponents. We're also going to be talking today about the future of course of Lionel Messi and I do bring that up because when you see these fixtures you're going to realise we've got to be ready. We need to find a resolution one way or another. Because the season is coming. Let's do it. But indeed, Ronald Koeman did take charge of his very first training session as the Barcelona coach there on Monday evening at 5.30pm with all of those players who are not away on international duty there reporting for that session, with the exception, of course, of Lionel Messi, who we already knew wouldn't be there given the fact that he did not test on Sunday and he's not planning on returning to training anytime soon with his future, like I say, still very much up in the air. However, in that training session on Monday... And indeed there on Tuesday, the likes of Gerard Piquet, Jordi Alba, Roberto Suarez, Vidal and Usman Dembele. Good to see Dembele there out on the field as he continues there to train and get ready for what is for him. An absolutely massive season. And the squad will also be training there on Wednesday once again at the earlier time now of 9.30 in the morning before on Thursday. They are given there a rest day. But like I say, there are some players who are out of way right now with their national teams. They've been called up there for the Nations League games that will be in action this week and to be honest I have to say when I saw some of the pictures there particularly Frankie de Jong when you see him training there with the Dutch national team big smile on his face seems very very happy to be there and I don't really think that it's a bad thing right now that some of these players are spending a little bit of time away from Barcelona because we all know right now of course with the Messi situation and everything else that's going on there's a lot of emotion in the city right now inside outside the club a lot of that emotion is not good emotion certainly there there's a lot of negative feelings and I can't can't help feel as though this international break, a lot of players going away outside of the city, it might not be such a bad thing until we have more of a resolution. But like I say there, La Liga finally not long now before the season starts in September. They did officially announce their fixtures on Monday and Barcelona now know exactly who they're going to be facing over the 38 games to come, which will be a massive season for this club, especially when you consider it may be a season without Lionel Messi. And the one thing you have to note straight away there when you're looking at those early fixtures there on the fixture list, originally it would have been Elche, the newly promoted side at home for Barcelona in in the first game, which in itself would have been interesting, because if you think back to the 2014 to 2015 season, we also faced Elche at home, and that season didn't go too badly. But we will not be playing Elche, and we will also not be going to San Mames in the opening two weeks because of Barcelona's participation in the Champions League. Those two games there have been postponed. They're going to be put back. So Barca will actually be starting the season from week three when we will host Villarreal at the camp. Now that there on the 27th of September, that's going to be Barca's very first game. And I do want to draw your attention there, not just to the Clasico matches, which come in October and April. First Clasico there is going to be at the camp. Now, but in particular, look at that run there in the early season from Villarreal. We go then away to Belaidos to Celta Vigo. We all know what a tough place that is to go. Then we play Sevilla at home. Then we go away to Hitafe before then facing Real Madrid. And already, that's what I mean here. This season, it is coming. It is going to be tough. There's some very, very good teams that we play early on there, and we need to get a good start. We need to make sure that come that first game against Villarreal, whatever's happening. It has to be resolved. We have to have a resolution because we are going to need to be ready. And it's not only Lionel Messi's future, which is still to be decided. Many of this first team squad, in particular there, some of the bigger names, still have to resolve their future. One of those is Arturo Vidal, who we've spoken about now over the past few days, looking closer and closer to leaving. And right now, he is inches away. He's so, so close for signing for Inter Milan under Antonio Conte. He is going to get his wish to bring Vidal in. And most likely, exactly the same as Rakitic, there will be no transfer fee. Even though with Rakitic, and with Vidal, they both have contracts for one further year until 2021. But because the Barca board are so desperate, so, so desperate to get their high wages off the wage bill, we are again giving these players away for absolutely nothing. Vidal will be going to Inter. It's another player off the books and another player out of that midfield, which should mean plenty of minutes in the coming season, we hope, 
for Ricky Pooch. In terms of Lionel Messi though, there are some interesting developments right now coming out of Catalonia. Obviously there are many, many reports every single day. You do seem to find yourself in this Messi saga going round in circles, reading so much stuff and in the end you just think, you know, what is actually happening? Well right now, like I said on Monday, it's a bit of a standoff there between the club and between Lionel Messi. George Messi is still not even in the city so things right now aren't exactly moving along at a rapid pace. But it was interesting on Monday evening when Alfredo Martinez a very reliable journalist there from Onda Cero. He came out and said, within the board, because obviously in the board, it's not just Bartomeu. He does lead it, he's the president, but there are many other directors there on that board. And interestingly, Alfredo Martinez says that within that board, there are more and more voices now that are starting to say, you know what? Maybe we should try and find a resolution. Maybe we should agree to sell Messi at the right price, in the right conditions, and go about this exit in a much friendlier way than what we're seeing right now. And it does feel as though as time goes on, Messi will remain on strike. He'll remain there away from training. He doesn't feel as though he needs to be in that session. He still believes that he could walk away for free if he forced it. But obviously, the ideal situation would be the two parties coming together, agreeing that fee with Manchester City, and Messi getting the move that he wants away from the club. And like I say, I feel as time goes on now, there's going to be more and more and more pressure on Bartomeu, not to sell Messi in the way that, oh, we need to get Messi out of the club let's sell him as quickly as possible but I just think right now given the situation given the fact that Messi is so certain about leaving I think you've got to find an agreement you cannot keep a player like that against his will you can't let this drag on days and days and days and days as we approach now that new season and according to Ondathero George Messi will come to Barcelona and as soon as he does there may be a meeting between him and Bartomeu to sort out this situation and ultimately find an agreement for Messi to leave, we're going to have to wait and see on Wednesday, Thursday or Friday if we can get some sort of breakthrough. And of course, I will keep you updated right here with any of the developments. And so that right there, guys, was an update right now on what we can expect ahead of the new season. Look in there at those fixtures. What springs out at you as a real test? How do you feel going into those games potentially without Messi? How would you be feeling ahead of that kind of challenge? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. It's interesting now that we are sort of verging on that new start. It all seems to come around very, very quickly, and we still don't feel anywhere near prepared. But hopefully, over the coming weeks, we've got a little bit more of a break than many teams do in La Liga. Hopefully we can use that to our advantage, get some deals done, get this squad sorted out and approach the season with as much optimism and quality as we can. Let me know your thoughts. I will see you soon. But until next time, as always, Vishka El Barca.